organ meat is an essential part of any raw feeder's diet. At least 10% of your dog's bowl should include organ meat, half of that being liver. Liver helps to keep the eyes, blood, and organs healthy. Usually, raw chicken livers and beef livers aren't too hard to find locally. They are both an excellent source of a variety of vitamin B, vitamin A, and iron. Just like people, some dogs can be picky about the texture, taste, or smell. So let's go over a few ways to add it into their diet. Beside feeding straight from the container, freezing or searing small portions are a way to change the texture without corrupting the nutritional benefits. If finding liver at your grocery store is difficult, air-dried liver treats can also be used in place of raw organ meat. Just add a little water for rehydration or feed as is for an extra crunch. When sizing liver for feeding, consider your dog's paw size a good measurement to start. Something this size for example, would work perfect for a small dog, and something a little larger for a big dog. For a balanced diet, an additional secreting organ, such as kidney or pancreas, needs to be added with liver to ensure your pup has a healthy balance of nutrients. Real Dog Box's 50-50 ground mix has both liver and another secreting organ in it, making adding organs to your dog's bowl easier than ever. For anyone who feeds small dogs or just needs to put a quick meal together, the ground powder may be easier than trying to cut off pieces of raw meat or snapping pieces of treats to the perfect size. Here's another example of what a ground organ should look like for a smaller dog and for a larger dog. Feeding too much organ can result in dark, sticky stools. If you notice this, simply cut back on the amount of organ you feed each day. Organ meat is a natural way to source vitamins into your dog's bowl, but it can be tricky for picky dogs. Comment below and let us know which method works best for you.